Yo, what's up? It's Peter Watch Jr. And today's leadership principle is failure. Let's talk about it. You see, the only way to achieve success is through the path of failure. Every successful business person, inventor, every investor, every influencer all have the same story. They have all failed miserably. And what keeps people from trying and achieving the very purpose that God has called them to is their fear of failure. You see, one of the kingdom principles of godly success is the ability to fail. Now notice, if you have never failed, how do you know what to do next time? See, failure creates learning experiences and it brings wisdom to those who recover and get back in the game of life. And that's what you need to do. You need to get back in the game of life. I've failed many times. I've started and created several ventures and opportunities and businesses and, and ministries. And a lot of times those things have failed. I started a stock investment club with my family years ago and it failed. I started a real estate investment company and it failed. I started a charter middle school and it failed. I even started a couples ministry out of my home. And you know what? That failed too. You see, in all of the things that I've just mentioned and attempted, the one constant truth remained. And it was that fruit has grown out of each of them. You see, my family, they made money from the stock market in the investment club we started. Out of the real estate venture that we started, we were able to purchase several properties across the country and sell them and we took the proceeds and each family member got money from those proceeds. At the middle school I started, there have been generations of families that got great educational foundations and many of those students have gone on to college and have successful careers and are still active in my life today. The marriages that we were ministering to, most of them are still intact. And out of that marriage group, we were able to start our church, which is now 11 years in existence. You see, the things that I listed may not have lasted long, but there have been much fruit that has been produced to this day. You see, what I've learned in this process and as a follower of Christ is that Jesus teaches us through our failures. You see, in our failures, we learn to trust him more and more. In our failures, we gain wisdom for our next decision. In the Bible, Jesus tells Peter the only thing that cannot fail was his faith. He said, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you as wheat, but I've prayed for you, Simon, that your faith will not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. You see, Jesus only prayed for his faith, but not for his experience of whether or not Peter would fail. You see, failure is just a precursor for success. So don't be afraid to step out of your own comfort zone, your own boat, your own box, or any other metaphor you want to use to describe your fears. If you fail at something, so what? Dust yourself off and try it again. But once you fail, you can then turn to your brother or your sister and you can strengthen them because now you have the wisdom to teach them the truth. You see, God wants to use our failures in life to bring us much success. This was a leadership moment on failure. This is your boy, Pastor Peter Watts Jr. And I'm out. Peace.